Hey guys, what is up? It's Laura here, back with another video. So today's video is actually going to be from my mini birthday month haul. So I will be showing the items that I got from Sephora and from Ulta's free birthday gift. It is my birthday month. I have my birthday on the 23rd. So I wanted to show you guys what that gift is as well as the item that I've been like searching for online for like at least a good month. And it is, I couldn't find the large one cause those are like all sold out. I got from Sephora, but I am so excited to own this. So as you guys know, I have done a video on Hiram's recommendations. And I said in the video that I couldn't find his, um, a couple of his items because they were all sold out. This was one of those items. By the way, what do you guys think of my new eyebrows? I just got them threaded and that, like, I don't know if my pain tolerance just isn't high, but if you guys have ever, like, gotten threaded for the first time, it is not, like, I don't know. It just was kind of painful to me. I've gotten waxed before for my eyebrows, but I could deal with that way easier. I don't know what happened. So this is the Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser. I'm super excited to own this. Um, this is like their smaller one that you can find in like the travel size section of a Sephora. Um, you know, where like the checkout stuff are. And this is for two fluid ounces. Um, I think it's actually good that I got this smaller one so I can really test out how it works for my skin. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to own it. This was $10, I think. It's definitely not like a cheap cleanser, but from what the lady at Sephora told me, I don't think you need a lot. So it should last me a decent while. She said use like a pea-sized amount or something. So yeah, super excited to own that. This will be my first Youth to the People purchase. If you guys have used that cleanser or if you've used their other stuff, um, please let me know how you feel about them in the comments below. The next item that I got was, so this is from Ulta and this is the NARS Blush in Orgasm. Oh, maybe? Okay, I think you open it like this. Okay, that's so stupid. Like, the packaging, like, I thought the blush... Like, the picture for the coupon made the blush seem small. And then when I got this, I was like, oh, you know, the blush is pretty big. But this is such a waste of packaging. Like, what are they doing this for? Like, actually, this... I hate when companies do that. So this is what the birthday gift was for July. I don't know, do you guys know if the birthday gift changes each month for Ulta? I'm not sure, but this is actually really pretty. So this is the blush. Um, and yeah, I don't own probably any NARS stuff because if you guys know much about NARS, it's not that cheap, like at all. Um, and this is 0 0.08 ounces. It should last me quite a bit. Um, but that is really pigmented. Wow, that is gorgeous. It's kind of got like a metallic-y look to it. It gives just the right amount of warmth to the face, which I really like. And I do like that you got like the little mirror. So super excited to own that. And then this one, I'm actually like, I used to think that Ulta had really good birthday gifts, but lately over the years, I feel like it's gotten worse. Like a couple of years back, for the birthday gift, it was a full size Ulta palette that I still own in my collection. Um, and now it's just, 
like a blush, which I'm sure NARS, like, you know, it's not cheap for them to give this as a birthday gift. But I mean, come on, like a palette or a single blush. So this is the birthday gift for Sephora. This is the, so there's like two choices. You could either get the milk makeup one, or I think it was like a lotion of by Bum Bum. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah. So I don't think I own any milk makeup and I, I own so many lotions. So I thought it'd be more helpful for me to do this one. So I have the Milk Hydra Grip Primer. And then this is their Milk Makeup Cush Mascara. And then this is, and this is their um, Lip and Cheek, which, this isn't the greatest size. I mean, it's probably good for traveling, but this, if I can open it correctly, oh, never mind. This I think will last me a decent while, actually. So I am very happy with this sample size. Like, look at that amount of product. That is not a bad birthday gift whatsoever. Okay, so go ahead and try the mascara out. This is the wand. The wand is literally almost like, it's basically half of like this tube. And you guys know that I have like literally the world's shortest lashes. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Um, it feels pretty light and it actually separates my lashes pretty good. Um, I think it looks like it does more lengthening than thickening. They look a bit spidery actually, but you definitely get the length. Um, not my favorite mascara because most of the time I like my mascaras to make my lashes look fluffier, but it's not bad. So this is the lip and cheek. There's not really much of a color to it. It kind of reminds me of like one of those your lips but better kind of things, but it's not bad. Um, but yeah, so that's me testing out all of the items.